When I lived in America, I was constantly surrounded by different cultures and people. I lived in Miami, Florida, a place with a large Hispanic population. I am Cuban, and a majority of the people there are also Cuban. However, there are also many people from different countries like Puerto Rico to Colombia to countries in the Caribbean. I grew up seeing this whole mix of cultures, and in Miami, it's not hard to find. One minute, you can be walking down the streets of Little Havana, and the next, you're in Little Haiti. When I moved to Korea in 2013, I definitely felt out of place. Compared to my previous home, there was a lack of cultural diversity, and I barely saw any different people. I remember walking down the streets of downtown, barely seeing any foreigners. And while I of course loved Korea when I first came here, it still felt like something was missing. When I first came, I had the feeling of being stuck between two cultures and not really fitting into either of them, typical of an international student. When I was in Korea, I felt that I needed to adapt to Korean culture. And when I was in America, I knew that it wouldn't fit in with other kids my age who live there. I knew that I could never fully fit in with either place. However, at first, that was a big struggle of mine. I knew I looked different from my peers, but I didn't always want to be classified as the foreign girl. Last year, I had the opportunity to participate in a soccer tournament in Seoul with the Busan International Foreign School girls soccer team. It was a three-day tournament, and I was doing a homestay with a girl from a school in Seoul during it. I played on a team with girls from Norway, England, Japan, Korea, and America, and played against girls from schools in Japan and Pakistan. Sitting with the other girls on the team, it was interesting to listen to different accents and different languages I hadn't heard in person before. Everyone was so, everyone was so nice and welcoming that I, didn't even, that I didn't even remember that we were all different. We got along just like any other group of people. I wanted to share this story with you today because this is one of the many experiences I have been able to enjoy since living in Korea that has shaped who I am today. I have always been open to interacting with different people. However, I never had the chance to do so on this scale and living in Korea has been a much more international experience for me. I see myself now as part of a global community rather than just as a member of the country I am in. Living abroad and traveling has changed how I view the world and my place in it. I not only have a stronger connection to other cultures, but an appreciation, I not only have a stronger connection to my culture, but an appreciation and connection to cultures other than my own. For much of the time I have lived in Korea, I would have never dreamed of doing half of the things I have been able to experience. About two years ago, I went on an exchange trip to Guangzhou, China, and it was the first time I had traveled without my family and the first time I had participated in an exchange. I got to live like a local in a city I had no previous knowledge of, and that's what made the experience so memorable for me. I enjoyed having an authentic experience rather than sightseeing, and I got to learn a lot about Guangzhou that I probably wouldn't have been able to learn if I hadn't done the exchange. Living under the same roof as a local from the city made it very easy for me to experience all aspects of the region. When I ignored my discomfort to immerse myself in a new culture or even be exposed to it, I was able to enjoy enriching experiences that I will remember for the rest of my life. I realize now that I don't need to force myself to belong to anywhere and that I can still be a part of a global community while staying true to where I come from. Five years later, as I look back at who I was when I first came to Korea, I see a different person than who I am today. Thank you.